Welcome back to The Letters. I'm your host, Jeff Grosso, and today we have a surprise guest, Mr. Anthony Van England, known to his friends and fans as Ave. Thank you for being on the show. Thanks for having me. <laughs> So we just wanted to have you come sit down with us and uh, talk about all things skateboarding. Right on. Well, let's kind of start at the beginning. What was the first thing that kind of made you fall in love with it? Um. First thing that made me fall in love with it, I mean, I don't know, I grew up in Southern California, so like, I feel like everybody kind of had a skateboard. I think it was my ninth birthday, I got, I wanted a skateboard just out of the blue, and my stepdad was like, what do you want? I'm like, I want a skateboard, like a pro skateboard, and bought uh, a Vision Lee Ralph with uh, red and blue trackers and black bullets. That was the beginning, and then like renting fucking Savannah Slamma and Ohio Skate out at the video store was my first uh, like skate videos. All I remember was Bill Danforth uh, riding off the side of the vert ramp to flat, skating the black flag. That was like, that was when I was like, this is sick. I knew I was looking for something and I found it there. <laughs> so that was that was the beginning. <laughs> That's rad. Yeah. Everybody's got their reasons. Yeah. <laughs> you were stoked on Bill Danforth or whatever. Like, who were some of the early guys that you, you, you got hyped on? I mean, I was just seeing whatever kind of came. I mean, you know, it's such a different time then with VHS and stuff. And I remember like propaganda came out and there was skate TV and shit. So, you know, like Frankie Hill and all of that shit was like, some of my early exposure to maybe what was currently going on. Skate TV was crazy. Like we're watching skating on TV and these are the dudes in the video and they're on TV. This is crazy, they're famous. Which you is know? basically like an extension of watching propaganda because it was all- It was pretty pal. It was Stacy did it, right? It was, it was right? all Stacy doing it with, yeah. with uh, Jerry Hurtado, rest in peace. I'm Skate Master State, living large, launching lips off the lunge into 5 0 grind to the mind, 540 mid twist that you wouldn't believe to a grapefruit revert. I was again banned from the show. <laughs> What's your favorite trick for pool riding? My favorite trick for pool riding, I guess, would have to be um, any type of grind, maybe even a board slide. I love to do grinds though, because you get that loud. Argh. My first sponsor was uh, Volcom, and then uh, Channel One, kind of after that. Those were my first sponsors. Oh, my. Yeah, Mar that's yeah. Marty Jim and his company. Jinx fucking ruled, dude. He's the su sweetest guy in the world. When he starts, I'm flaming out. So, uh, you know, I was already at the bar, like, going, fuck it, it's over. I don't know what you're on. You're out of here. I'm out of here anyway. Come on, enough! Get out of here! And then I feel like I didn't even really discover like Gons till later, just because you just didn't get much stuff, you know? And then what? Plan B was like 92? the questionable video yeah which was such a fucking another like complete opposite of what was going on 12 months before it's getting completely changed yeah like, night to day in like less than three years yeah just... it was crazy i didn't even know what the fuck i was looking at like really yeah you're just hyped yeah it took me years to go going back to that video realizing fucking how gnarly that that was so once you started getting into it and and and, yeah. and started 
and started getting better and fucking cruising around with your buddies and stuff and figuring out how it worked, like who were some of the early dudes that you were super fucking hyped on? Like dudes, brands, what up? You know? I mean, I think like it was World Industries. It, it was kind of that era of the world was so influential and like all those dudes were, that was kind of the shit if you're a young street skater then, you know, like Love Child came out and um, just everybody in those fucking videos, you know? And they were had such little kids on the team too, so I feel like it was kind of relatable to where I was at, you know? You got like 13 year old, 14 year old pros and shit. Like it was crazy. Like Spencer Fujimoto and like Jed Walters. I really like Jed Walters a lot in that video. He kind of, I feel like that was the only thing I ever saw him in. And then just going on from there, it was just everything that kind of came out through there, like New World Order, then the Tim and Henry video, and you know, Guy Mariano, and that was kind of my shit growing up. You know, and then later, like, I think like Henry Sanchez and Guy are kind of some of my biggest influences as far as street skating goes. Henry Sanchez hates my guts. Oh yeah, I think he hates a lot of people's guts. Uh, love you, Henry. I thought he was fucking badass myself. As I got older, this, the, the whole thing was here. It was in LA, you know, and growing up in Orange County, I just felt like, I just need to get there. Like, I want to be there. And it was all those dudes, like Guy, Gabe. Paulo. You know, Paulo Diaz. And I feel like there wasn't a lot of Gabe, or I probably missed some stuff, kind of the Powell stuff, you know? Like, I, I saw it, but I didn't, probably didn't, I just didn't understand it then, but like, by the time that first chocolate video came out, and his part was incredible in there, I remember tripping on it because I felt like that was the first real showing of his skating. This is like probably what, 92? Yeah, that's... What happened here? This is, this is something kids gotta know about. This sucked. That's Man. a vert wheel oh, right oh, there. Oh yeah, no, this is... <laughs> this is definitely this Colin sucked. McKay's vert wheel. <laughs> totally. This sucked, man. Especially if you, you know, not being sponsored then. Just oh, like buying a brand new fucking set of wheels and then just eights. literally flat spotting the fuck out of them where you almost see your bearing through it like in 10 minutes is just was hell. Hindsight being 2020, it seems like it kind of served the purpose that the, the trick explosion from like 88 to 92, say, yeah, you know, the way skateboarding changed overnight like that and how much stuff got invented was, it was the most prolific time in skateboarding. That time span was fucking major and it, seems like the little wheels kind of helped with everybody. For sure. It kept everybody slow and... Yeah, yeah the boards like, were light. And yeah, can, triple flips and... Yeah. Uh, you no, know. it served a purpose, but it fucking sucked to have to deal with it. What was the purpose of the fucking pants? Uh, well, originally, it was a comfort thing. It was to be able to jump and, and move around in your clothes. Because it got way... Dude fucking like fuck jeans, bright pink, like cut off, the shit was crazy. Yeah. Because before that, everybody was running around in pegged dickies and pegged blue jeans. Have you ever tried to skate in a pair of 501s as an adult man? It's fucked. I remember you prided yourself on not having scratches in the middle of your fucking board. Like, yeah, it was technical good. fucking, you're doing crooked grinds, you're doing tail nose slide type shit. <laughs> fucking lip slides, Smith grinds, that shit's like a little Hessian, you know what I mean? The whole Hesh versus Fresh thing, that was real. And I feel like it took me later to look back and see how all the rad shit I missed because of that fucking mentality, yeah. you know? Cause you had dudes like Wade Spire and shit then.
Cardio and doing the gnarliest shit. I was just so focused on like oh, flip in, flip out, fucking, you know, like blind jeans, all that shit, you know. It was crazy. What? Well, I remember when things kind of tightened up, but it, actually they didn't tighten up, but <laughs> they kind of got normal. Yeah. With Salman, a guy, because he was just wearing regular size dickies. Yeah. You know, and like, and that I felt like it was right around that era when it kind of changed. It shifted. Everyone stopped. And then everybody went super thin and tight and that whole Johnny Thunders era was born. So why go to all the trouble of skating on the street when you can find yourself a nice smooth area enclosed with no traffic, no pedestrians, an area where you can concentrate. Someplace like this. If you're in LA like pretty and even kind of getting out into Long Beach I don't, it almost seemed like the same people design schools. Like they're all have those black top banks. Like it's very common and they all have the same source of where they got the tables and the benches and all that shit. So when one would burn out, you just go to another one because the same shit is there. <laughs> Lockwood had the hips and the bumps and, the, and it changed over the years and even the last change with the uh, planners and shit, people were like, put a table in the middle of that, put a ramp up to it, you're either blasting the whole planner, like Gino backside flipped it and yeah, right, or the people doing manual tricks on the top of the table in the middle of the planner. So that school specifically uh, had so many, evolved so much and it constantly evolved into something new, rad that you could use. You know, so that's, I think, what made it so, such a fucking landmark spot. Architects and engineers, thank you so much. You fucking rule. Yeah, that's incredible. If you were an architect or an engineer in the fucking 50s, when did you meet Dill? I met Dill. I can't tell exactly when I met Dill. He's two years older than me. He was already sponsored by Black Label, I think. I was probably, fuck, like 13 or something. We got workshop probably like a year, well, I've been like six months into a year of living up here. Mm -hmm. Now you tell it, us the reason why you got that workshop that. 
Well, it was the 90s and there was lots of alien conspiracy tapes being circulated through the media and kind of in the underground. And I was just a fan, man. Fucking exalt the fucking new god. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that was pretty it was, fucking epic. It was clean. Yeah, you know. It was just straight to the fucking point. Yeah, and there was kind of this underlying fuck you to it. And Blender's connection to it. You know, they came out with Memory Screen, and Memory Screen was badass. Memory Screen is incredible. Yeah. It's like, that was like an art piece. I remember when I first saw it, I didn't understand. I was like, I'm ready to see some skating. The first 10 minutes is just like an acid trip, like and I was just like, what the fuck is this? This sucks. Dwayne, Dwayne Petrie, Lenny Kirk. Yeah, Fred Gall. Freddy Gall. Minefield era, Omar and Dylan got on. Arto came on kind of towards the end of that and then was off again right after Danny Way rode for us. It was fucking brilliant, you know, the riders that came out of it, the graphics, the videos. There were gods on that team. How you doing it now? Cause it's everyone's doing it. Everyone's fucking good. You know what I mean? It's how do you look doing it? You know, like to, so that's what's important to me. And I think that's always been a thing. You know, but. And it's still true today. I feel like, with, you know, building FA and the dudes that are on our team, you know, like, and how that just kind of organically happened because I think that's what me and Jason believe in. Like, it, so it did just happen. These kids were little kids. Like, they were getting workshop boards, hanging out at Supreme. They lived around here or wherever, you know, and like, then when we did our thing, it was like, well, this is our team. These guys, you know. It's a trip. I mean, it really puts into perspective like a career. I, mean, I hate even saying career. It's so fucking lame sounding. Yeah, but, but, you know, making video parts, like getting sponsored, like fucking all this self of, uh, subs obsession to, you know, progress yourself and all this shit. Yeah. And then to be here now and be like, that's what it was for. Because now these guys, you get to help facilitate them in their journey into fucking doing all this shit. For me, it's just come full circle in that sense, like. Yeah, man, that's fucking <laughs> awesome. Thanks for sitting down with us, man. Fuck <laughs> this yeah, has been you. awesome. Thanks for having me. Fucking Lee Ralph, turn the shit off. Yep. Your life's out there, go skateboarding. Thanks for watching. Go. Bye-bye. Thanks. Beat it. Go skate. All right.